Ego One XL in Tiffany Blue. Let's get into it. Could it be the Joytech Ego One XL? The one device for everyone. So, come on, look at that. That's just pretty, isn't it? I don't even want to talk for a second, just look at it. Just look at it. It's a pretty little device. Okay, I want to apologize. My landscaper's outside doing the yard and making all kinds of noises. This is actually my third take because of it. Because, like, one take he's knocking, the second take he's blowing right on the front porch. I'm like, ah, come on, dude, give me a break. At least he's here. Um, anyways, the Ego One XL. What do I think about this? Well, first, let me let's look at the box, shall we? This is what it comes in. Pretty little box. And what do you get in that box? You get the Ego One battery. In this case, it's 2200 milliamp hour. Also comes with 1100 milliamp hour battery. You get one Ego One atomizer tube. Interesting. You get Ego One CL atomizer head. In other words, the, you know, just the little atomizers, you know. You get a half ohm coil and a one ohm coil. Right now I have the half ohm coil in there. I'll put the one ohm coil in to see what, you know, how it rocks. You get the one atomizer base. It's just that. Come on. It's like the Delta II. You get, you get, oh, you get two mouthpieces. You get this organic glass. That's right. And you get this fancy little metal one. I don't want to use the metal one because I don't want to use the glass because it just looks cool on it, man. I'm sorry. Whatever. If you like the metal one, use the metal one. I had one of my, uh, I had this tip that's on the Heracles on this for a minute. It was really nice if I could get Justin to make me a Tiffany blue one, dude. Oh, or a white one. That's you know, something to match, you know, something kind of fancy. Uh, and you get a, you get the cable, the wall adapter, all that fun stuff. Let's look inside the box. Okay, when you get it, check this out. Let me take the drip tip off. That's how it comes, just like that. And they call this magic blue. It's Tiffany blue. I, I've put it up against a freak show many as Tiffany blue, and it's Tiffany blue. Underneath, you get this nice little area that has your charger and all kinds of bits in it. Your warranty information, a user manual. If you don't know how to use one of these devices, you shouldn't be buying one, just saying. Um, Inside this right now, I just have the one ohm coil. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the one ohm coil. See that the airflow is very, very small there. Um, I will be trying it out though. Ah, it seems doable. Um, I'm gonna op actually open this up and show you what the half ohm coil looks like. Besides it being all juicy. See, this one is a bit bigger with the airflow and the juice holes, but you know, actually it's almost depressing how small it is, but it works. Um, it's a small device, you know, so you don't need these huge, huge, huge coal heads. I got juice everywhere. And today in my Ego One, I am rocking Moonshine Night Cap, two milligrams of nicotine. If you like it, go to minnesotamoonsign.com and give them a shot. They are definitely worth the go. Uh, let's give this another toke. Well, that's not shabby. Let me uh, let me shoot it this way. I'm gonna see if we can, you know, you can actually get a good idea of you know how many clouds it is, and I'll actually do it on the Heracles so you can you know, see a difference. I'll tell you right now, the flavor is really good. My cat's meowing now. Awesome. Great video today. Not too shabay, right? Not too shabay at all. Now, when I opened this up three days ago, I didn't even put it on the charger. Put juice in it, put coil on, put the juice on the coil, get it going, and put it together. It died last night. So I got two days out of it. Um, 
I woke up this morning. It was fully charged, and I've been rocking it. Um, I don't like how they tell you when it's dying with the flashes, because it will flash really slowly uh, when it's really like 50% to 100%, I believe. And that just starts going faster and faster and faster, and then it dies. And I don't really think that's really a great idea. I, I kind of like the old idea of, you know, it changing colors, you know, as it dies and, you know, from, I guess, white to red, the basic ideas. But whatever, it, it is what it is. I, you know, I'm not going to nitpick on that little area. I know it's dead because I won't be able to hit it anymore. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. I said I was going to hit this. I was going to hit the, uh, hit... The Heracles, and I'm doing my follow-up, my one-month follow-up on the Heracles today. I'm doing a few of them today, so stay tuned. Uh, one of them is going to be pretty, I'm going to be hating, and the other one I'm going to be ranting and raving, and it's, it's going to be interesting stuff. Um, so here's the Ego one one more time. Yeah, yeah, look at the... The Vipor out of the way of the camera. And the Heracles, I'm just going to rock it at 50 watts, so it's somewhat fair. Uh, I don't think it's a 50 watt device. It's probably like a 30 watt device, but. So let's, I'm going to put it at 30 watts. Maybe less. I have no clue what it's. I'm going to have to do some research. Okay, well, the Heracles wins, but we knew that. This will always win. It's my favorite tank of all time, and I'll explain why in my next video. And in that, what is it? It's Nightshade, or Nightcap. I'm going to get all Nightshade on this. Um, so let me put the one on pull in here. Let's see what it does. This should be interesting. Okay, get juice all over my damn hands. Ugh. That's one thing, man. These coils are pain in the ass to get in and out of this thing. Um, cause you really gotta put them in there deep. Yeah, I said that. Um, okay. Let me get some of my nightcap on. And this is a special nightcap. This nightcap is actually been steeping in a little oak barrel for two weeks. Kind of like what you do with bourbon. Now, if you don't remember what the flavor profile is in this and you didn't watch my juice review, uh, this is a tart berry brandy blend. It's an all-day vape. And because they aged it, you know, it smooths the berries out. It brings the brandy out. It's quite an interesting concept. Okay. Yep, this is definitely like a mouth to lung right here. Let's see what she does. Let's see how she vapes. I should have let that prime a little bit more. That sucked. Ah, oh, the struggle is real. So that's not very impressive at all. Um, it's flooded right now too, you hear that? So now I flooded it. But um, let's see if I can get it primed up and get it going. <coughs> okay, sorry about that. My phone started ringing in the middle of this and I'm like, really? Awful, awful timing. So anyways, now that I'm nicked out from licking nightcap off my mod, um, back to the 0.5 ohm coil. Instantly better. Okay. So, do I think you should buy this mod? Yeah. Buy it. Um, you can get it on eSiggity uh, for about, I think, $54. Um, get them in uh mad they call it magic blue Tiffany blue they have a royal blue a red a black a white stainless steel uh lots of options a lot of you know you get the 2200 milliamp hour battery which i've noticed lasts a long ass time and the 1100 milliamp hour battery which i have no clue because i don't own one um it's killer uh you know um i know you hear me say that a lot uh, a lot of the mods i get are really good mods because well that's kind of how it works 
Uh, my next video, you're going to see me very unhappy with a mod, because uh, it's not even really a mod, it's uh, about the whole big tobacco thing that's happening. Um, and then another video is going to be a call to action, um, challenging other vapers and other reviewers to do something that hasn't been done in the vaping community. It's been done in other kind of vlogs and stuff, but never in the vaping community. And uh, it's going to be done. Uh, I'm going to do it, and I really hope other people will do it. Richard from uh, Twisted420. Um, I'm challenging you, Matt, I'm going to challenge you from Suck My Mod, uh, Todd, I'm going to challenge you from Todd's Vapes, Mark Todd, um, hoping that, uh, you know, you guys will step up too, man, um, it's really simple, uh, and I think it'll be great to show that we, as vapers, are about community, and it's, it's what we need, I think we need to start proving here, because people were really hating on us recently, uh, but other than that, I have nothing else to say about this mod. Um, you know, it's simple. There's really nothing to dive down. There's no buttons. It's just this button. It's just this head. You see the deck right here, just like, or I guess the base. You know, I wish, you know, it'd be cool if they had like an RBA for this. I would be really down with that. Um, but I put my Delta on it um, and it worked great. Heracles did not work great at all. I uh, just didn't have enough power to push the Heracles, but the Heracles is the Heracles after all. Um, you know, you can get tiny toots. Oh, and I have this wide, the airflow open wide, open. Uh, let me uh, close it up to just a little bit open to see what happens. Oh, a little bit of a tighter draw, uh, a little bit better flavor. Uh, I'm gonna do about halfway open now. It is just the best airflow I've had in any of these little kind of devices, which I really haven't had any of these little devices, except the Atlantis and the CF sub-ohm battery, which, you know, honestly, isn't as good as this. This is so much better than that setup, and it's cheaper than that setup altogether. God, let me see, let's see what this metal drip tip looks on here real quick, you know, so you get an idea. Okay, looks like that. It's clean. I like it. Oh man, that nightcap is so good. Go to mnmoonshine.com order some seriously look up minnesota moonshine on facebook uh right now i'm kind of my like fanboy i guess i love this stuff uh hung out with james your day from minnesota moonshine. he's actually coming back today before he goes back to minnesota um so that's cool uh we've become great friends now and i'm okay with that <laughs> totally fine with that man because uh, he brings over all these delicious juices i get to try all the time and you know i have my own little collection now and i'm gonna be buying more um Nothing free here, guys. I'm buying this stuff now because it is so good. It's worth buying. Um, and also, a little bit of news from the Shady Lady. Uh, if you see my new, uh, juice review, uh, there is a new juice, possibly a fourth one coming to the lineup. Um, supposedly, it's fruit. So we'll see how that goes. Well, anyways, um, I feel fine with ending this video now. There's really nothing more to say. It's a simple device. And it's the one, I really do feel like this could be the one device for everyone. I would like to see a 0.2 ohm coil. Um, I don't know how the battery would handle it though. So, you know, maybe that's why I released 0.5 and 1.0, uh, 1.0, 1.0, uh, 1.0, um, you go one guys, buy it, seriously. <laughs> Um, if you like flavor, if you like vapor production, if you want a stealth vape, it's all you need. Anyways, guys, I'm CA. Thanks so much for stopping in, and we'll see you later today. Bye.